Hi guys, welcome back to Charlie's Garage. Um, so I'm making a larger video about the complete rewire of the 68 Mustang. Uh, but part of that I think is important enough that it deserves its own short video on. And what I wanted to discuss today was auxiliary batteries. Uh, when you put a separate battery into a vehicle to, um, let's say power a battery that you're using to uh, control an amplifier, uh, what you don't want to do is run the wire to that battery directly from your car's main battery. Uh, because what that is going to cause is uh, imbalance in the batteries and it could discharge your car's battery, which would lead to basically your car not starting and needing to be jumped a lot. So one of the ways that we can ensure that the auxiliary battery that we install does get charged up when the car is running but doesn't discharge the battery for the car when the car is shut off is by using one of these. This is basically a relay that um, allows power to go from the charging system circuit to the auxiliary battery when the key is on the on position. When you turn the key off, this guy loses its connection and now the, the auxiliary battery will no longer be connected to the main battery. So there's a lot of different names that people call these based on kind of how they function or what they do. Uh, the one I got in my hand is the most simple type. This is the one that is goes basically works like the, uh, a lot like the starter solenoid where you have ignition power going in and then a ground. And anytime the key is turned on, the ignition power going to these small connectors and then grounding closes the connection inside the big one. So your big wire that goes from your main battery or your charging system back to your auxiliary battery, you're going to cut that wire in half basically and hook one side of it up to one side of this and the other side up to the other. Which side? On most of these it doesn't really matter. Uh, so you could have it mounted like this or like this or like this. All this really does is it closes the connection in there. So direction across these two terminals on this type does not matter. It's not a diode. It's a relay basically. So what we're going to do is take the battery that I already installed in the trunk for the amplifier and I already just hooked it up to the wire that I had running the amplifier in the first place. So, and that battery is now connected up here to the front of the car. And what I'm going to do is just simply snip that wire in half and run it through here. And then when I finish the main wiring project of the car, I can take one of my ignition wires that turns on with the key and run it here and then run a quick wire to ground. So I'll give you guys a sample, show you kind of what this is going to look like. So let's take a look. All right, so this right here is the wire that is going back through the firewall and then back to the trunk for the amplifier. And it's kind of hard to see down in here, but it is connected to this bridge that I installed. And then from the bridge, we have a wire that comes up and hooks up right here to the battery terminal. So what I'm wanting to do is if you look down in here, this is a complete mess. And part of the rewire project that we're making the longer and larger video on is gonna be, part of that is getting rid of this stuff. So just for the relay part for the auxiliary battery, what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the wire right here. And we're gonna use the same end of this wire and hook it up to our relay. And then we're gonna run from the relay and probably mount that relay somewhere right here. And then from that relay over to the main battery terminal. Um, and then that way it's uh, better. And um, one of the things that you look at, you see this wiring mess. I have a whole bunch of relays and stuff that's going to fix this mess and make it look a lot cleaner in here. And we might be able to get rid of these ground and power strips that I put in here. One of the problems with doing a resto mod on an old Mustang is that when you start doing a lot of things, like adding electric fans and electric water pumps and stuff like that is that you end up needing a lot more wiring and relays than the car came with. And if you do too much at once without a plan on how it all fits together, you end up with something that looks like that. So now that we got all this electrical stuff in there and I have a plan, now the goal is to actually make it look pretty and presentable. Um, but I'm not going to bore you guys with the actual drilling of the holes and mounting this thing, but just know that this wire coming from the 
battery in the back, the trunk battery, is going to get connected to one of these big terminals. And then I'm going to make a new wire that runs from here over to the battery. And then when I get the ignition wiring reset up and rewired, one of the battery's ignition wires or the on wire from the ignition switch, uh, probably um, off the same or an auxiliary terminal that would go to the uh, starter relay is also going to go to this guy and then a quick small wire run into a ground somewhere here on the side of the body. Uh, so when I'm done, it'll look something like this where it's mounted on the side and is getting its power. So really important. The main point of this video is please do not just uh, hook up random willy-nilly stuff without using relays and circuit breakers and things that help protect your car from fires, from battery discharging. Uh, it's really important to have a plan. If you're involved in any of these projects and you're not sure about what you need for some wiring, please put in the comments, let me know. I'm more than willing to help. Uh, so until next time, please like, please subscribe, please share, uh, and thanks for watching. Bye.